Either one's good. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo. Woo! When we're kids, people like you, people like me, dream about becoming astronauts, race car drivers, professional log cabin builders, and we often never get there, and I'm I'm not really sure why. I still think I can build a mini log cabin better than like that one shit had Ryan in my third grade class that obviously couldn't build it as well as I could, but that's besides the point. You know, when you really go into something, parental pressures in college pretty much end up making you like not go into whatever it is that you wanted to become when you were a kid except for this one. But every once in a while, somebody makes it through school and the parental pressures to truly go into something they truly, really love. So come on, pull up a chair, maybe your favorite blanket, and let's learn how Chris, our normal Johnny Car guy, created his own wheel company. Chris Sempek, or Sempek as we'll call him, was just like any other boy in the good old US of A. He enjoyed uh, car models, Legos, Gran Turismo, and Need for Speed. Entering high school, there was a certain like movie that was coming out that had never really been done before. I live my life a quarter mile at a time for those 10 seconds or less, I'm free. <laughs> oh yeah. Chris ended up snagging his very own 1997 Acura Integra to modify. Neat. 20 years may have passed from the first Fast and Furious movie. Holy shit, that was 20 years ago. But Chris dove headfirst into everything you could expect a 1997 Acura Integra to have after watching the first Fast and Furious movie. APC Euro taillights, cold air intake, and a $40 muffler to boot. But it didn't end there. Oh no, little Chris wanted to have a little bit more power to go along with those damn killer chrome taillights. And he ended up uh, fabricating his own turbo to his race car. What did you do when you were 16? That thing kicked it up to 255 beautiful ponies. Chris wanted to keep building neat aftermarket things for cars like most people do when they're a car enthusiast, but really enjoyed wheels the most because it could change the mood of your car. That's a little foreshadowing for you if you know what I'm saying. So Chris went straight to college to do that. Chris rolled up to snag that mechanical engineering degree in a Honda S2000 on Advan's Buddy Club coilovers and an exhaust. He may have picked those wheels up at FeminineIndustries.com because we have it all online. <gasps> Back to the story. Maybe not true, but anyway, young Chris would then go through four years of college to learn mechanical engineering while turning into an adult by selling his S2000 for an IS300. Not too sure where he wanted to land in the automotive field, Sempak began to design wheels using school programs and posting them on Instagram. For those saying the only job you can land from posting on Instagram is modeling, you wrong. The designs posted ended up getting more than enough attention to warrant a DM into, you know, Chris's, you know what I'm saying? Chris was getting inquiries to build wheels for interested parties. Enter friend Steven Knope, or Nope, or Knop. We don't really know. He wanted a set of three-piece wheels for his LS-powered S14. Enter from the other side, Terry from Fortunato, who wanted a set of wheels for his M5. Wow. Stefan's wheels would be a 17-inch concave five-spoke combined with OZ Futuro style wheels with a Volk wheel and ARP hardware, which looks awfully similar to another wheel that they launched recently. Mm-hmm, it really does. It looks pretty similar. Terry won a 19-inch BBS LM style wheels that Chris made by getting the forged wheels made at a local CNC shop and hoops from CCW. Those wheels were assembled with blowtorches loved and probably a little bit of guessing. Because, I mean, when you really think about it, wheels aren't just like drawing a design and plugging it into a CNC machine. For some reason, there's this thing called math and wheel tool belts and knowing how to do it. Chris learned that the hard way from his first wheel designs, the local machine shop taught Chris how to properly understand how the machines made these wheels because Chris was like, I thought I was pretty close and the machine shop was like, pretty close is relative. Chris, pretty close is relative. But after all, this was his first time making wheels. What do you expect? You try making something that you actually draw on paper. You can't f***ing draw anything. And from there, Chris found out exactly what he wanted to do. One could say he really found what he loved. One could say, the wheelies really worked hard to really figure it out. <laughs> oh. Over time, Chris began traveling to local car shows until meeting D2 Forge and began designing wheels for the brand. But it didn't last long because in 2013, Chris jumped back to freelance full time for different brands. He did notice something. Everyone was in California making wheels, not New York. 
Like the start of a right of a passage movie, Chris packed up all of his stuff into his IS-300 and moved across the country to California with hopes of becoming a full-time wheel designer. A brief stunt at the local home furniture business and he finally landed his dream gig. In 2014, Chris became the lead production designer and engineer at Raceline Wheels. Woo! Making the designs for trailer, UTV, ATV, passenger car, and everything in between, Chris had finally began to start his dream job, living the dream. Only one problem, Chris wanted to make wheels for his like tuner buddies. Didn't really have a whole lot of trailer buddies. Not really a whole lot of UTV buddies, I would say. Mostly, mostly the tuner guys, you know? That's why he was in it to begin with. Not saying that the, the trailer is a bad thing to get into, but you know, I just figured that if you were a tuner guy, you'd probably want to make tuner wheels. Getting the okay from the man above, Chris began to work on his true dream job, a little side job that would come to be known as Kansai wheels. Meaning thoughtfully engineered with the customer's emotional and psychological needs in mind, Kansai began to take shape. Chris wanted to find a way to increase, like to show his passion of like the community and every wheel design for Kansai. And for that to happen, Chris designed all of the flagship wheels himself using the community feedback and friends that he had out there. Cause he has fr friends. <laughs> Must be nice. It took over a year to finalize the concept for the brand and even ended up launching the company with three designs. The KMP, the Corsa, and the Tandem. Progress! In 2018, Raceline Wheels landed a portion of their SEMA booth to the launch of Kansai Wheels. And is actually where Chris jumped out in front of the aisle way to stop Mario and I from walking to get our much needed taco break at SEMA, which I will still hold that to him till the end of time. Still never ate that day. Since that November evening, Kansai Wheels has been involved in anything and everything to whatever it possibly can actually be involved in. Kansai Wheels makes wheels for enthusiasts because Chris is an enthusiast, which sounds really redundant, but you'd be pretty hard pressed to find people in the automotive community that make wheels that are actual enthusiasts. The team's pretty small. There's only three of them at the helm of the brand, but that's what's allowed Kansai to actually move into whatever the community wants. Whether that's the KNP with its tried and true five style, the tandem for the massive brake clearance, or the Corsa for people that enjoy a mesh design with modern technology that doesn't weigh an arm and a leg. I'm not entirely sure that's how that sort of appropriation is used, but the wheel designs themselves are continuously evolving because they need to. From bead seat profiles to the types of oil coolant they use to actually make the wheels, every detail is what makes Kansai Kansai. Chris's dreams were helped on by people like Terry from Fortunato, Dan Young from CCW, the car community itself, and friends and family within Raceline Wheels. And starting a wheel company because you're just a passionate car guy doesn't really come around too often. In the world of everyone chasing a dollar, Chris is chasing a dream, and that's what makes this story so great. If you're looking for Kansai wheels or any wheels, tires, suspension, check out fitmentindustries.com. I'm Alex. You can find us on Instagram at, at fitmentindustries.com or if you want to watch pictures of my cats, you can find mine down there too. We hope you enjoy and let us know what you want to see in the comment section below. We respond to every, every comment, literally every single one. There's not one we don't. And it really leads us to have some questionable, um, maybe questionable imagery of who our viewers are because of some of the things that are said, but whatever. I'm Alex from Feminine Industries. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button. We will see you later. Peace.